Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at vector operations in three dimensions. Let us look at dot product and matrix multiplication. So let me explain the procedure first and then we will try and then look at an example based on that matrix multiplication. The procedure is as follows. Procedure. If u is a vector and if the components of these vector are u1, u2, u3 all the way till un and if v is another vector and if the components of these vector these vector this vector are v1, v2, v3 all the way till vn We can also represent these vectors as column vectors, isn't it? I can represent u as a column vector like this. This one, vector u, I can represent this one as u1, u2, u3, all the way to un, like that. This is a n row by one column vector. Similarly, we can represent vector v as a uh, as a vector, as a column vector like this, v1, v2, v3, v3, this is v3, all the way till vn, and this one in here has n rows and one column. So we can represent the vectors uh, as as column vectors in that manner. Then if that is if that is the case, then we can write vector u dot vector v as equal to vector u transpose vector v like that. That is the definition of that and therefore when we implement this we can write this one as u transpose is transpose of a matrix is we're going to take the column matrix and write it as a row matrix. So u, trans, u vector is a column vector when we transpose it it becomes a row vector like this u1, u2, u3 all the way till un this is a column vector, but this is a row vector now, times the column vector. V is a column vector. V1, V2, V3, all the way till Vn, like that. Therefore, when we multiply these out, this is going to come out as follows. This we can write as the way the matrix multiplication is done. Uh, it is uh, the way it is done is as follows. We take the column, we take the row of the first matrix and multiply it to the column of the of the second matrix. And when we do that, we're going to come up with u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 plus all the way till u n v n all the way till u and v n and that is the way we can we can obtain the product the dot product of two vectors and we have used matrices to uh, arrive at the uh, arrive at the product of these two matrices or oh, arrive at a product of these two vectors now having uh, explained the procedure let us take a simple example let's say we have vector a as equal to 2i plus 2j minus k and then we have vector b we have vector b as 6i minus 3j plus 2k and what we want to find here is vector a dot vector b we want to find the dot product between these two vectors and the way to do that is as follows um, step number one vector a I can write this as 
a column matrix as 2, 2, negative 1 and then I can write vector B as a column matrix as well as 6, negative 3 and 2. According to our the procedure which we just explained, I'll write that as step 2. Vector A dot vector B is going to be equal to vector A vector A transpose times vector B and the way to write that out is as follows we're going to write the column matrix as a row matrix 2 2 negative 1 and the B matrix is still a column matrix 6 negative 3 2 therefore we can now perform the the dot product or the multiplication process this is going to be 2 times 6 plus 2 times negative 3 plus negative 1 times 2 therefore when we simplify this this is going to be 2 times 6 is 12 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 so 12 minus 6 is 6 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 therefore this is our answer this is where we want to leave it the dot product of two vectors using matrices is equal to 4. In my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to vector operations in three dimensions.